In today's video, we're talking about where you can find background music that is both free and copyright free. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel where I'm here to bring you tips and resources to become a better creator. Today, we're talking about where I find background music for my videos that's both free and copyright free. But before we jump into all that, I want to apologize if I have to take a sip of water, if I sound hoarse or raspy, it's because I'm recovering from the C word. Uh, been down and out for about a week now, so thank you for everyone who has checked on us. Uh, my wife as well, and she is doing much better also. So thank you guys for checking on us, and uh, we're on the up and up now. So, now, copyright free music. This is a question that comes up a lot. And so one of the hardest parts about finding copyright free music is searching for it, is finding that perfect track. So I thought an easy way to alleviate that problem would be if I create a new series, let's call it Music Mondays, where every Monday I curate a couple tracks that are copyright free and post them on the channel. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit the subscribe button now so you don't miss any videos coming out on Mondays with that. Before we get to the actual sites where I find the music, there are a couple things you wanna consider when you're searching for background music. First, the mood. What's the mood of your video? Is it upbeat? Is it uh, happy? Is it sad? And you know, what are you trying to convey with this music? Music is one of the primary elements that you do that. So I've got a couple examples here that demonstrate that well for us. So let's jump into the computer. So this first one, let's see what the mood is like here if I play this. Kind of got an easygoing vibe to it. Very happy major key. Three, four time, kind of uplifting, right? Fits well for what we're doing there. Now let's take a look at another example that goes in the other direction. We've got a dark video, black and white here kind of ominous. So this minor key, that creepy, almost music box like sound kind of has a little bit of a horror or scary sound to it. Also fits well with the theme of what we're trying to accomplish there. Now let's go somewhere in the middle. This next one is something a little more ethereal. You'll see the video is kind of trippy looking with the effects I've applied on it, but I feel like the music helps reinforce that. Notice we've got a prism effect, as well as some color fringing. Two paths in a wood. Almost some parallax there. And then a reveal at the end. Yeah, there's definitely some illusions there with Joseph, the coat of many colors, and the color fringing. So that's kind of cool. But do you notice how the mood of each of those videos was totally different and the track behind it helped create that. Now, the second consideration is the pace of the music. That can also really affect your video. So let's look at two examples of that. This is a bit fast paced. It starts out slow, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Here's the hit. Now I've also added in sound design to this to mimic the videos. One thing that's unique about this video specifically is it was created with all public domain clips. So take a look in the corner, I'll put a card up there where I find free photos. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on free videos later. But that upbeat, fast paced matched the time lapse really well. Now here is an opposite end of the spectrum. This one is kind of low key Saturday morning vibe designed to mimic a home video. Again, just kind of happy, bumping along. Totally different feel than the last video. Sets the pace for the morning, right? And just slowly fades out there at the end. 
So that's the pace. Mood, pace, very important considerations when you're searching for a backing track. Now one other thing, this is a little bit harder to demonstrate, but I found a track here that works well. Does the music make you think of anything else? When you first hear it, does it make you think of Jurassic Park? or Jaws or some other major movie that is going to have a lot more pull and reach than yours. So that's something to take into effect, take into account. I found a track here from one of our sources that kind of mimics that. Now, I'm not going to tell you what it mimics right away. I'm going to let you take a guess at that. Let me know in the comments what you think of as soon as you hear this. Any guesses? I can tell you the very first thing that comes to mind for me when I hear that track is Stranger Things. And ironically enough, that track is titled Weirder Stuff. So clearly they were going to mimic that feel that they created with the intro of Stranger Things, right? So keep those things in mind. Mood, pace, and does not make you think of anything else? All right, now we're going to jump back into the computer and I'm going to show you my top four favorite sites for finding free background music in probably my order that I use them from least to most likely. All right, so let's jump back into the computer. Site number one is the Free Music Archive. Now I will put links to all of these sites down below in the description for easy access for everyone. And they all also have different um, copyright rules and regulations. So be sure to read the fine print on how you can use it if you have to provide attribution or anything like that as well. Now if, um, Free Music Archive, let's go into the blues genre. So we've got a couple different things right here. Notice you get a little window that pops up at the bottom as well. There's no additional information right here at least in the playlist, but you can see the title. I'm going to pause that because it's got vocals, so it's going to conflict with my voice. Let's see if this one does it. Again, same story here. One thing I do like about Free Music Archive is you can click on the artist and you'll get more tracks by that artist. Let's go back. But one thing I don't like is to see the attribution requirements, you have to click on the track itself, not just the list it showed up in, and then they're going to appear over here and it will give you specifics as to what you need to do. You can also click that for more information about the Creative Commons licensing. That's site number one, Free Music Archive. Site number two, Ben Sound. Now, quick little aside here about Ben Sound. This is not music related, but what it is really helpful for, you see all of these little album art icons these are perfect for inspiration if you are trying to design something. So you can come here and just kind of look through different categories and different things, electronica, and just see what people are creating. It's almost like a curated Instagram feed. It's great. Now, Ben Sound, uh, same story here. Make sure you read their licensing rules or their FAQ. But since we're on electronica, let's play this first track here. Gives you a download button right there can click for more information. But did you see what happened there when I clicked the track? It paused or it stopped the track as soon as I clicked into it, all right? So I'm gonna have to click here to play it again. Our next two sites don't do that, all right? So again, licensing with attribution, so you make sure you have to credit them for playing this song here. And then, oh, this is in euros actually, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. And then site number three. Upbeat.io. Now, Upbeat is something that's probably striving to compete with places like Artlist and Epidemic Sound, like they're on their way there. And there are paid accounts on Upbeat. However, you can download a limited amount each month. I believe it's 10 tracks for free. Now, here's where Upbeat really excels. They've already, remember I talked about the mood? They've already curated a couple categories right here. So let's say Silly Energy. That's a fun category. Let's test out that first track there by Kevin McLeod. That's silly energy, right? Fits perfectly, right? You can imagine someone sneaking around a corner or trying to hide what they're doing to this track. Let's try another one. Over here, let's do, hmm, fast cut. Now, what I like about this, you see it gives you this little mini waveform. That way you can see when the hit's coming in the song. So you see the red progressing right there, we got a hit. 
And it's about to get real big when it gets there. Wait for it. And there it is. You know, it's a condensed version, so it's not exactly precise, but you've got it here. What's nice about this, though, I can go back and the player stays on top of what I'm already doing. So the song keeps playing even in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. They've got several more vibes here, uh, different categories you can search through. Another plus, if we go back over, where was I, Fast Cut, and then I think that was Rebel by Mojo, you can click in, you can see other songs by that artist, or if you click over to the song itself, it's gonna give you similar music that has a similar vibe and feel. And then here's that waveform again where you can see the hit. So if you're looking for the beat to drop in a song, you can find that really quickly there. Now, my last and probably favorite place that I find music is the YouTube Creator Studio Audio Library. Hands down, that's my go-to spot. It might not have all the bells and whistles of upbeat, but what I like about it, because it's curated by YouTube and that's where I'm posting these videos, I've never had any trouble with a song getting flagged. Now I can't say that is a blanket statement that's gonna work for everyone, but I know that's been my experience with it. You've got a search bar right here, and when you click in there, it gives you a couple different options. So let's look at genre. We want, let's keep with our jazz and blues theme. So we want a song that's in the jazz and blues theme. We also want something, let's say it's kind of a happy feel, or if you wanted to add inspiration on there, you can check more than one box. So notice my list is changing every time I do that. And then one other thing, you see this license type right there? That means that no attribution is required, but if I change it to attribution required, it gives me the little CC for Creative Commons. You can click on View Details to see the exact attribution that's required in your description, copy that, and paste it in your description. So I'm gonna remove that. But let's look at just this first track right here, By the Fireplace. It plays down here, this one's a little quieter. So it's kind of easy going jazz piano sound, right? Good background music. Track Tribe also, notice when I click that, it takes me over to their YouTube channel so you can see more of their specific music. If you click over here, you could search just for them if that's what you were looking for. So then you get Track Tribe music that fits that mood, jazz and blues, right? Okay, let's clear out some of these. Or you could search for tracks by name if you know what you're looking for. Weirder Stuff, remember that one from earlier? Let's search for that. Boom, there's the track. And then lastly, you can star favorite tracks. Again, notice how that keeps playing. I really like the fact when audio players overlay and don't change anytime you go to a different window. So here's a couple tracks I've starred, saved for later. World War Blues, that sort of thing. Let's skip ahead and get a feel for it. It's by the Mini Vandals, Bright Jazz and Blues. I bet this track's gonna have a similar vibe. Yep, very similar sound to it. Okay, so I'm gonna pause that there. When you wanna download it, you download it. And I've actually started keeping these tracks on my computer because you never know when uh, the website's gonna be down or they're gonna remove a song from the audio library. And so I've kind of started curating my own little library that I source and that I know are there whenever I need them. So again, those sites are the Free Music Archive, Ben Sound, Upbeat.io, and the YouTube Creator Studio Audio Library. Now, don't forget, if this video was helpful, that I'm starting a new series next Monday called Music Mondays. It'll just be music, there won't be anything, it won't be me talking, where I just curate a couple tracks that have a similar vibe that are copyright free. I'll post links to them in the description. It'd be great for putting background music up on your work, or maybe if you're looking for background music for a video that fits that, the longer we do it, the better. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, don't forget to like as well, and I'll see you guys next week.